Hi everyone, it's Nini. I didn't want to make another Katie Joy video so soon, but this woman. <laughs> So she posted this the other day about Cody Brown and said, if I put in my application to become his next wife, do you think he will share his herpes with me? This I believe is in regards to a post Katie made about a month ago where she was shaming Robin for having cold sores. I was going to make a video about that, but Southern Mutton made one, Truth Sleuth made one, Rennell made one, and they covered it so well, so I'm like, I don't need to. But Katie made another post about herpes. I have some thoughts on Herpgate. In that original post from December 12th, Katie said, the reality for women that share husbands is that they also share and spread viruses and fungus to one another. Robin Brown has a history of getting nasty cold sores on her mouth. According to the Mayo Clinic, cold sores are blisters that caused by certain strains of the herpes simplex virus. The virus spreads from close contacts such as kissing. Therefore, Cody kissing Robin and then kissing another wife can spread the herpes within the family. Now, Truth Sleuth in her video had caught that originally, instead of saying Cody kissing Robin could cause the herpes to spread, she had actually said, therefore, Cody kissing Robin and then kissing another wife can spread the herpes within the family. If Robin were to perform oral sex on Cody during an outbreak, he could become infected with genital herpes and spread the virus to the other wives. On that post from earlier, Todd had to put in his two cents and said, only strong men can handle a strong woman. Katie responded, that's why I got a man like you. And then Todd said, plus, as a bonus, I don't have herpes. Katie responded, neither do I. I'm like the worst liar ever. You do have herpes. You admitted it in a video. I think I actually got this from my son. He has one too. Can you get a cold sore from somebody else? Because my son has one on his lips and I might have got it from kissing him. How do you get rid of cold sores? Does anyone know? <laughs> I've been putting on like um, antibiotics on it at night. I think it's an H infection. It's a form of herpes and most people have it. It's a virus. Most folks have it. The virus will just go away on its own, right? I haven't had one in like years. I can't, I think the last time I had one was in high school. Stop blaming your son for everything. I already made a video about how she talks about him and how she has blamed him for everything. She blames him for not having friends. She blames him for no longer being a Christian. She blames him for not being able to go on vacations. Stop it. He is going to see all of this someday and he's going to feel horrible. The way the cold sore herpes virus works, you're infected with it. You have it for the rest of your life. It lays dormant. It'll flare from time to time. It always lays in your body. She admitted that she got cold sores in high school way before her son was born. So there is zero chance absolutely zero chance that your son gave you the cold sore herpes virus. You more than likely gave it to him. Maybe I'm so riled up about this because I get cold sores. I usually get at least one a year. Sometimes I get two a year. They are annoying. They are painful. Now, Katie got tons of backlash on her first post about the cold sores because most people are smarter than her. Plus, most of the population gets cold sores. So by shaming Robin for having cold sores, she's shaming a majority of the population. It's kind of funny that Katie has since edited this post. So she must have gotten backlash on this one too, where she said, do you think Cody will share his herpes with me? She changed it to, would Cody accept me as a sister wife, even though I have stretch marks and will 100% turn him down physically. So she must have realized shaming them is out of line or she got more backlash on it. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Fuck off, Lizzie. I hope you like, fuck off, Lizzie.